Now, but I'm pretty sure we all know the serious allegations against Boeing and apparently their build quality, especially when it comes to safety, especially the 787, according to whistleblowers, isn't built safely enough for um, industry standards. Now, everybody, I decided to um, meme around about it. Take a look at the 737. A normal 737 just came out of the Seattle Renton factory. <gasps> oh, my God, no. The workers, they were messed up. They, they put the engine on the wing the wrong way. Hmm, how does this plane fly now, I do wonder. I mean, we've always dreamed about being able to stop, you know, airliners and small runways, maybe by using reverse JTO rockets to make planes stop. I guess this is a way to have very good stopping performance on the 737. I mean, it is true. If you go full power, the engine off, I mean, you can see it goes full power and sends all the throttle that the CFM-56 engines can offer to the front, and we will be able to seriously move back. I mean, we could try to take off backwards. It's not going to work very well. Now that's the tail strike. I guess in order to move forward, we can employ the reverse thrust. Take a look at this right here. Reverse thrust full power. And this is our way now to go forward. This is kind of like an inverted engine now. Um, and this is absolutely stupid of an idea. I don't even know if it's going to be able to fly on reverse thruster. Yes, obviously, a reverse thrust very, very much lowers the performance output of an engine, practically because the air is just practically redirected through these shovels right here, whatever you want to call them. And so that's why reverse thrusters are not as powerful as the forward gear. All right, so let's maybe see. Um... I did some testing before we are able to fly, but um, only if we take off from longer runways. Um, we might want to attempt that now because here at Sedona Airport, we're about to crash and we're dead. Good. Let's go to longer runway, 3,800 meters. All right, fellas, let's try this again here. Um, full power into the engine, which sends it forward. Uh, yeah, there we go. It's not very powerful now, this airplane, is it? Come on. I mean, there's practically no point in discussing the realism of this at all. But of course, if you were to have an engine run at full power in reverse thrust mode, you'd very, very much lower its service life because that's not going to be able to hold on for long if you run this on full reverse thrust all the time. Come on, full power now. We are at 100 knots already. That's not too bad. Yes, we are able to, I guess, fly. Barely. All right, full flaps. There we go. And it is perhaps possible for us to lift off soon. Come on, you can do it. Yes, yes, leave the ground. Yes, take a look at that. We are flying a 737 on just reverse thrust, and we are. Oh, right, we are losing speed. But let's take a look. I guess we are able to somewhat maintain lift. Uh, not really. Um, we're about to crash again. But take a look. Theoretically, we are able to fly. And what I really want to find out now is, I mean, we all know the forward thrust of the 737 will be much harder than the reverse thrust. How fast can we stop the 737? We are um, approaching a mountain, which is just normal. It's uh, Lukla Airport down there. Actually, we are a bit too fast. We can go full forward thrust and see how... <laughs> yes, we are now being pushed uh, this way. You can see... <laughs> Take a look at this. The heat effect, sir. All right, come on, let's do it. 140 knots. This is actually very challenging here on this mountain. Come on, you're able to do this. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still am in reverse thrust mode because once you go full power into the forward thrust, the plane really wants to point downwards. Ah, uh, ah, uh, no, we're not able to make it. We're not making it, are we? We are not able to make it. No, we're crashing. All right, maybe the, the landing capabilities aren't even that good. Rest in peace. What the hell? Come on, this must work now. Welcome to St. Bartholomew Island. Let's make sure to put on reverse thrust, which is a weird feeling. All right, this is a lot better. Now we are at sea level. Everything's beautiful. Beautiful island. Everything's good. Come on. All right, let's keep the airplane flying. Let's keep it afloat. All right. Very good. Very good. Oh, oh God. Oh God. Holy moly. Yes, if you <laughs> undo the reverse thrust, the airplane just points down with the nose completely. Because the engine is slightly tilted by two degrees normally, and now that tilt is pointed downwards. You know, this is absolutely crazy, but we managed to stop really fast. 
I don't want to think about that nose landing gear though. I mean, to be fair, we stopped very, very quickly. Not bad. But to be honest, um, I don't know. It, it seems like this modding has only affected the airplane negatively. I mean, yes, the forward thrust is bad and the backward thrust is... Everything's bad, actually. What I would like to find out, though, I mean, one little experiment is what happens if we are here in a cruise flight situation? Yes, we've got reversers deployed <laughs> and the landing gear is coming up. Weird configuration. But what happens if we were to just go normal mode? Maybe like that. Full power into normal mode. And let's maybe see what would autopilot say now. Speed, let's me go ahead and set that to 170. And you can see the auto throttle. As you can see, the autopilot puts the throttle at full power. But there is no full power. We are gaining speed, but only by descending 6,000 feet per minute. We're practically falling out of the sky. And the landing gear is stuck. This is a great experiment. Now, a plane that I kind of believe a little bit more in is, of course, the beautiful C-17. It's also Boeing. This could also happen. <laughs> Take a look at this absolutely stupid build. But we all know and love the C-17 for its insane power in the reverse thrust. I mean, it's the only plane that can really actually use reverse thrusts mid-flight to do an emergency descent. And it's absolutely crazy. So here we are. We are going full power now. Come on, reverse thrust. You're able to put a lot of power out, right? Please. We are at 24. 25 knot. We need more acceleration, goddammit. Come on. All right, we're about to reach the end of the runway. Please, come on. You need to take off. You need to rotate 120 knots. That should be good enough, right? All right, good. 140 knots. We should be able to rotate now. Come on, flaps down, please. And rotation before the runway officially ends. Yes, 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 yes. Let's keep her down. Let's maybe use some of that ground effect that we have right here to keep afloat, to keep in the air. Yes. Everybody, we're able to do this. We're able to fly. I mean, we're able to fly above ground. Hey, that's not too bad. We are losing a little bit of speed, but if we use the ground effect, there we go. We're able to continue to fly. Stay airborne. No. Uh, all right. Never mind. Um, we've crashed. Okay. This is good. Come on, St. Barth's time now. Let's go full power into the reverse thrust. Good. I mean, I think the C-17 would be able to land here anyway, right? So I don't think this would make a big difference. Although it is a really big airplane, you know. Oh, stall rattle. Stall rattle. Okay, this airplane is not able to keep afloat very well. All right, there you go. Now full power into the reverse thrust or the normal thrust. And that will able to, yeah, that is able to stop us very, very quickly. Take a look at that. Beautiful. All right, that's not too bad. Uh, again, though, I, I thought we would have, you know, stopped more quickly. Yeah, my idea definitely is not very revolutionary at all. Although, I do have one more thing to test. How fast can we go in this mode? Reverse mode. Yes. In order to do this, um, all we have to do is turn around like that. And maybe just see how confused can we get the flight simulator. All right, full power. Beautiful. Just like that. Very, very nice. Oh, God, this feels a bit strange. Everybody, we're reversing now at full power, uh, which means this thing is absolutely confused, but we can... Oh, no, 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 no. All right, nails. Okay. All right. That's That just didn't work. Come on. Let's keep her level. Let's keep her straight, which is actually harder than you might think, genuinely. No, no, doesn't work. This airplane just wants to go forward for some reason. Interesting. No, airplane just gets confused. Interesting. Come on. No, it won't do it. Then maybe the C-17 will. Come on, C-17. You're a military airplane. You should be able to handle this. Keep her right on the runway. All is fine. All is okay. No. God damn it. I can't believe it. All right. This is definitely not work. This airplane is confused, obviously. I think it's so unnatural for the airflow to come on the other side. So you cannot keep this plane straight. It just doesn't work. That's a good conclusion. So, everybody, um, this is an absolutely stupid idea. And, um... I have no idea why I even thought of this. Yeah, absolute brain rot. And I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters. <laughs> Guns Killer, R27, James Duram, That Dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishititsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New The York. You've got beautiful names.